Mr. James Persons, Acting Director General, West and Central Africa Global Affairs and Canadian Government Representative here, Honorable Senators, Members of Parliament, Excellencies, Ambassadors and High Commissioners, Members of the Diplomatic Corps, Friends of Rwanda, Fellow Rwandans, Distinguished Guests, Ladies and Gentlemen. Allow me first of all to extend my sincere appreciation to you all for joining Rwandans at this event as we remember our loved ones brutally killed in 1994. This is a clear testimony of your commitment to ensure that the tragedy our country went through 22 years ago never happened again anywhere in the world. On April 7, 1994, the genocide against Tutsi started in Rwanda where Hutu extremists killed without any distinction men, women, the hospitalized, and the mentally challenged. Even babies, children, and elderly people were massacred for as long as they were Tutsi or perceived to be, to, to be so. Cette folie meurtrière, planifiée et exécutée par le régime rwandais d'alors, plongea notre pays dans 100 jours d'horreur où plus d'un million de personnes perdurent brutalement leur vie, avec en moyenne 10 000 personnes tuées chaque jour. Thanks to the Rwandan Patriotic Army, which courageously stopped this tragedy after more than one million people have perished, most of them Tutsi, but also politically moderate Hutu and those who tried to help their neighbors and friends. As we gather today, Let's remember those who lost their lives, but most importantly, show solidarity to all those who survived the brutal killings. Today is also a day to honor the courage of those who risk their lives to save others. The commemoration period is as well a time for Rwandans to reflect on our past and continue our journey of nation building towards sustained socioeconomic transformation. Distinguished guests, ladies and gentlemen, this year's commemoration themes read Kwibuka 22, Fighting Genocide Ideology. This theme was purposely chosen after the realization that those who perpetrated the genocide against Tutsi and their sympathizers have continued to deny it and distort the truth about what happened. Le thème de la commémoration de cette année nous exhorte à lutter contre l'idéologie génocidaire. Cette idéologie est en grande partie propagée par les membres de la milice FDLR basée en RDC et composée essentiellement des éléments responsables du génocide contre les Tutsis. Ils sont appuyés dans cette salle besogne par leurs supporters basés surtout en Europe et en Amérique du Nord, sans oublier le Canada où nous sommes aujourd'hui. It is therefore very important that genocide ideology must be relentlessly fought. New laws, clear mechanisms and strategies should be put in place and implemented to deal with those who deny and trivialize the genocide against Tutsi like any other genocide. Research, talks, and discussions on the genocide and its prevention should be encouraged to preserve its memory. Pour arriver à combattre efficacement cette idéologie génocidaire, il y a une grande nécessité de partenariat avec les gouvernements, les académiciens, les ONG, la société civile, ainsi que toutes les parties concernées. Ladies and gentlemen, 22 years have passed and Rwanda is slowly but surely consolidating its long journey of healing communities and rebuilding institutions. Maintaining peace remains the country's main priority. A lot has been achieved from national identity to poverty alleviation and institution building. Today, Rwanda is reborn from the ashes, built by the resolve and effort of its people, by the vision of its leaders, and by the support of the international community. Our main priority remains to maintain peace and build a shared,
prosperous and, f and stable future for all Rwandans today and for future generations. In conclusion, let me call upon all of us to join our efforts to fight genocide ideology. Only then will we be on the path to prevent atrocities such as the genocide to happen again and strive to advance dignity and peace for all. Thank you very much for your attention and uh, thanks again for being here despite this weather. This is a show of support to the Rwandan people. Thank you so much.